As 2021 comes to a close, it has given me time to reflect on the year we have just had all together. From COVID to social change, and even my own personal growth over the past 12 months. I mean, I currently have three YouTube channels. I graduated high school, I got into college, and was still working on my personal fitness goals. However, like most things towards the end, it started to break down. School got difficult, which meant putting my YouTube plans on pause, which is when this video got released, my October adjustments video. The purpose of October adjustments was for people to begin to learn about what they wanted to do for their New Year's resolution. Whether that's becoming more fit and learning a couple new exercises or wanting to learn how to cook and buying a recipe book. Go watch this video when you're done here, even though it won't help now, it could definitely help you in the future. Anyways, after the school year finished, I found myself lying on the couch in a pretty catatonic state, completely questioning how the year was almost coming to an end. Until, Better Ideas released a video on New Year's resolutions. I'll link the video down below, but the three main tips that Joey gave during that video was, number one, focus on one thing at a time. You're not just gonna wake up on January 1st suddenly an expert in self-care, reading two books a day, and exercising. Especially if the day before you were sitting on the couch, eating ice cream, and questioning when the last time you showered. The point is, pick one thing to focus on and improve at a time. The second thing Joey talks about is forcing yourself is a good thing. Joey breaks it down really well in the video, but basically, if you're not challenging yourself, no growth will happen. And the third tip he says is make it an enjoyable process. The point is to not torture yourself with change and try to make it a wonderful experience. And then Joey said this. And you can start compounding this month after month. Once you have one habit locked in after one month, Add a new habit the second month. And by the end of a year, you might have 12 new habits, which might be overkill at that point. You might only need a few cornerstone habits that will change your life forever. But honestly, over the course of one year, the sky is the limit. You can be in a substantially better place this time next year if you implement this strategy combined with your motivation and will to change. This got me thinking about how much someone could change in the next 12 months. Matt Diavella did something similar to this concept a couple years ago with his 12 30-day experiments and I figured if he could do it why can't anybody else so I ran to my laptop and started writing out a bunch of things I've always wanted to try for 2022 I started off with the basics like reading more and eating more veggies then turn them into actionable challenges like reading at least 15 minutes a day or moving towards a more plant-based diet I only have about eight challenges as of right now, so please comment down below any ideas you have in this video or any of the following videos on this series. Maybe it's a habit that you've always been wanting to build or something that you've always wanted to try. And hey, you're watching this video for a reason, so I challenge you to focus on one thing on your revolutions list until February or March or April. Really, whenever you're watching this video, focus on it until June if you have to, but get it down then move on to the next thing. As for me, I've got a lot of reading to do.